You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez, and here's a look at your top stories. Tens of millions of dollars stolen in an Easter Sunday heist. It's being called one of the biggest heists in L.A. history. KCAL's Rachel Kim has the latest now from Silmar. I'm Rachel Kim in Silmar in front of Garter World, a money storage facility. A law enforcement source confirms to KCAL News this is where what appears to be the largest cash heist in L.A. history took place on Easter Sunday. We're told as much as $30 million was stolen in a sophisticated operation. The FBI and LAPD working together to find the thieves who got away with the cash. Right now, they're, very, they're being very tight-lipped and not releasing much information. But we are talking to experts to find out how the thieves might have been able to get in and get away and we'll tell you what they say about who could have been involved. We're gathering more details and we'll bring you the full story coming up on KCAL News at 4 p.m. All right, more with Rachel at 4 Meantime, with more rain on the way, residents in Newport Beach are living on edge after three homes were yellow tagged due to a landslide hitting the area. KCAL's Michelle Geely is at one of those homes now. I'm on Galaxy Drive in Newport Beach in one of the backyards that has uh, pretty much disappeared, at least half of it. Let me let you take a look here. This is Steven Peisner behind me here. He is the renter. Around 4.30 this morning, he started noticing some uh, pots, uh, planters moving next door to him. And then shortly thereafter, he says his entire back patio, you can see it there, dropped at least 10 feet. He has a pool beyond us there. The swimming pool is just a third of the way filled at this point. All of the water has drained out. This house here has been yellow tagged, which means it can't be lived in. The home next door, again, we're in the 1400 block of Galaxy Drive. Uh, much of the land has slid down into the Back Bay Nature Preserve. You can see that happening right there and then the house beyond it. So there are three houses all next door to one another that have been yellow tagged. And what makes this story ever the more concerning is the fact that just about a year ago, a few blocks away on this same street on Galaxy Drive, there was another landslide here on this bluff overlooking the Upper Newport Bay Nature Preserve. That landslide uh, d severely uh, damaged a home. That home had to be demolished. And the homes on either side, uh, the property owners are still trying to save those houses. So uh, there's just a lot of land movement here, a lot of concern on behalf of the property owners and the people who live here. And we're gonna bring uh, more pictures and uh, more sound from uh, the people that we're meeting coming up on KCAL News. All right, more from Michelle at four. Meantime, after a day of beautiful weather, it's cold and cloudy today, and we have a chance of rain just hours from now. Meteorologist Alex Biston breaks down the timeline of the wet weather. We are feeling much cooler temperatures across Southern California. We're seeing more clouds too. We've got a storm system that is making its way down the West Coast and it is going to bring us a chance for some wet weather as we head into tonight and of course into Friday too. low snow levels with this. So we're looking at snow levels dropping down to as low as about 3000 feet. We will dry out by the weekend, but let's talk about this system and when the rain could possibly move into your neighborhood. So we are looking at that chance of showers as we head into around dinner time tonight, 545, 6 o'clock in areas like downtown Los Angeles. It will generally be light, but that chance is going to increase as we head into uh, tomorrow morning. Here's 945 in the morning and we are seeing rain across Santa Ana into some parts of the Inland Empire as well. It is snowfall up in areas like Big Bear and into Wrightwood too. That chance of rain and mountain snow is going to continue as we head into Friday evening and then we will dry out and see more sunshine as we head into Saturday. But with these very low snow levels, it is possible that we see some pretty big impacts on our major mountain passes like the Cajon Pass, as well as I-5 through the Grapevine up through Fraser Park and Lebec too. So something to really be aware of if you have plans to travel through that area. Otherwise, once we get through the next few days, we're dry by the weekend. Sunshine too. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. We will warm up as we head toward Tuesday and Wednesday as temperatures rise into the upper 70s across the valley. So if you miss the warm up, I've got very good news for you. Even across the Inland Empire, upper 70s to low 80s by next week.
All right now to a story everybody's talking about, it seems. Mayor Karen Bass calling it a public health emergency. A home surrounded by trash in the Fairfax district is being cleared for now for the second day in a row. But as KCAL's Amanda Starantino reports, the house is far from the only one causing concern for neighbors. I'm Amanda Starantino in San Pedro at this home. Another situation of hoarding a lot of trash and debris piled up in this yard here. Now, this comes on the tails of all the reports of the Fairfax house we've been reporting on for the last week. Now, the city has stepped in. We've been seeing all the cleanup happening there. Uh, the mayor even coming out this morning saying we're going to clean this up and also we're going to clean up other situations. But, you know, there's been a lot of talk about that the city has not heard about this. They don't know exactly what's going on with these complaints yet. You know, neighbors in this neighborhood here in San Pedro say, hey, we've been complaining about this for a while now. So we're going to have that report coming up on KCAL News. All right, now to this, another weight loss trend is making the rounds on social media, and this time in the form of a drink called Oat Zempic. It's a drink made up of oats, water, and lime juice, and some TikTok users claim the drink can help people lose weight. Joining us now to talk about this viral trend is Socorro Carranza, a clinical dietitian and healthcare expert with Dignity Health Glendale Memorial. Socorro, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, first off, uh, I mean, oats, lime juice, water, does this drink really work? What are we talking about here? So if you take the, the drink by itself, I mean, it is healthy if, you're, if it's not whole grain, right? I mean, if it is whole grain, sorry. Right. Um, but, but it has to be in complement with other things. So in, just by itself, it's okay if you, comp if you include it with a nice balanced diet. But some of these TikTokers might be um, mentioning that that's the only thing they should be having and they lose weight. So there should be a big red sign saying warning because um, there's gonna be issues. The biggest issues being number one, you're gonna leave a lot of essential micronutrients and other mm -hmm. essential nutrition out of it. And number two, it's gonna decrease your metabolism. And what happens after, you don't get a picture of what happens after the fact, they lose the 10 pounds and they end up gaining 10 to 15 more just because they are naturally decreasing their metabolism so too fast too quick not good right and you're cutting out like you said uh, proteins and fats and some other healthy things that uh, we need for our diet it's it's almost sounds a little bit like that cabbage soup that makes the rounds every so often right correct yes because you're decreasing the calories uh too much right and you know some people said it helped them lose up to 40 pounds in as little as two months. You're saying, yeah, it's possible, right, that that could happen just based on, on the amount of, of calories that you're not consuming, right? Correct, but then again, you get the bounce back mechanism because they're mm -hmm. decreasing their metabolism so much, they end up gaining that plus more, and that's not healthy. So I would um, advise viewers to leave their health to professionals, just like they would leave things from their home to a professional, uh, plumbing, things like that, their car. Diet, nutrition, health, is even more important for just overall well-being. So you should not leave that to people that do not have the qualifications. Yeah, not too long ago, I met with a nutritionist myself as part of just a regular health check. She said micronutrients, a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables, stay away from processed foods. It sounds so simple, but a lot of times we just get caught up in these uh, viral, you know, uh, diets, and and it really just dissuades from the real simple part of just keeping a, a healthy diet, right? Exactly, and and it's understandable. People are desperate; they want to lose the weight. Yeah. But again, do it the right way. That's that's the best way to do it. You know, get informed, get the professional mm -hmm. help. You talk a little bit about the yo-yo. Uh, what are the health risks of trying this or any type of of, of drastic diet? So, anytime you try a drastic diet, like I mentioned, you're leaving out a lot of essential nutrients, and eventually, you're gonna see it in your health. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see signs of it, and people that are watching could probably um, watch out for this, like your hair falling off, your yeah. nails getting dry, your hair getting dry. All of those are signs of micronutrient or other deficiencies. So that is bound to happen with any extreme diet where you only focus on very, either very little nutrition, very little calories, mm -hmm. or you're not including everything that you need. So you're eventually mm -hmm. gonna be malnourished in some way or form. So just be really careful. Yeah, I've heard about that hair loss in both men and women, enough to uh, keep people away from these drastic diets. Socorro Carranza, thanks so much for being with us today and, and bringing some light into this uh, viral uh, trend that's uh, making the rounds on social media. Thanks so much. Right, this has been CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. I'm Juan Fernandez. Thanks for joining us today. We'll be back live at 4 right here on CBS News Los Angeles.